Never hit the brakes as he left the road. I found him lying in the grass among the steel and glass with an empty whiskey bottle by his side. Tell Mama by request. Good job, T Reno. We'd like to thank all the folks from Little John's, Madison, and everybody running the, folks, the sound. Thank you so much for taking care of us. And we'd like to uh, shout out to, to Mr. Gene Daniels, who we lost uh, last year, one of our dear friends that ran sound for so many years at all the festivals. Please give Gene Daniels a great big hand if y'all would, please. We miss you all, right? This young gentleman on the mandolin right here is one of our founding members. <clears throat> that means he found us first. Uh, he worked with his own band called the New Tradition Bluegrass Gospel Group, and also worked with Ronnie Reno and his great band, and the beautiful Miss Dolly Parton, along the way to coming three or four times, something like that, Mandolin Player of the Year. Mr. Danny Roberts right here in the Mandolin. <laughs> On the fiddle right here, he's originally from West Virginia ways, where he's born and raised, moved up to Ohio the majority of his life, and came down to Nashville, Woo! Tennessee about six, seven years ago, and been at grass school for about five of them, something like that, or six. And uh, we love him very much. He's been proving it all day long. One of the best fiddle players on this planet, Mr. Jeremy Abshire. Here. All right, we're going to do one for all you Harley riders up there. It's called Leather Bridges.
Let's get you out of there. Song. We got time for one more song, y'all. We're going to take a break. Uh, I think we're going to do a couple songs. Uh, the color guard's going to do a presentation. And then uh, we're going to stay up here and do a couple songs tributed. Uh, tributed? Is that a word? Did I just make that up? Just a couple of extra. One letter. All right. That's the way you say it. A tribute to Mr. Flats and Mr. Scruggs. Uh, so stick around. We're going to be. We're going to do one more song. We got a very special treat for you right now. The final gentleman to introduce is from Reesville, North Carolina. One of your very own on the upper right here. He worked with Bobby and Sandy Osborne brothers for 13 years. Uh, Wimbledon Cooper, I believe, before that. Also worked with Mike Snyder and his great band, the beautiful Miss Dolly Parton. He worked for the king of our bluegrass music, the one and only Ho 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 Jimmy Martin. This young gentleman, in my opinion, has become a legend of our bluegrass music because he's uh, worked along the way on this great upright bass playing. Please welcome Mr. Terry Smith on the upright bass. Thank you. We'd like to do a team now where I will demonstrate a bit of the slap bass technique on the old yeah. upright bass. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. <laughs> this is a team called Hear That Lonesome Whistle. Well,
Smith on the upright base. Good job, Smith. Yeah. Yeah. North Carolina. Dude. What's he wanting to do? Nothing. You want to do what? Uh, Christmas Carol. Sure. Do that one again. Right. <laughs> Speak up. Hold your beats. Questions are going to get harder. Yeah, last train to Clark. Last train to Clarksville. We'll kick the next set off of that. Are you going to come back? And see us? Yeah. Okay. Can we do one for the troops? Yeah. yeah. Shout this one out to all the, all the folks. If you uh, serve for our country, could you raise your hand for us and let us know that you serve for our country? And you all stay seated. If anybody else can stand up, please stand up and give the soldiers a stand motivation like they deserve. Thank you. Just for you, too. It's called Me and John Pop. Yeah. yeah. Johnny lived next door to me. Paul lived down the block. We'd meet each day at my house or at six o'clock. We'd race the bikes to school. Paul would always win. Johnny said that's cause for nine and Paul he just turned ten. First day of high school on the way to my first class. Three football players said they wouldn't let pass. Well, I set my books down and I rolled up my sleeve. And then I noticed there were two boys next to me. He said, let's go to town and make some memories. It was me, John and Paul, the best friends you ever saw. All for one, one for all. It was me, John and Paul. It didn't shock me none to hear that he'd been brave. He'd lost his own life, but another one he'd saved. I waited by a tree till everyone had left. And I went up, said a prayer, my pal slept. And then I heard a voice I hadn't heard in years. Didn't need to turn around and knew just who was there. It was me, John and Paul, the best friend you ever saw. All for one, one for all. It was me, John and Paul. It was me, John and Paul, the best friend you ever saw. All for one, one for all. It was me, John and Paul. Everybody, the Grasslands, me and John and Paul, what a great song there. And, and don't go anywhere, we got a couple of special things.